So we're here at the Tower of London at the uh, Corny and Barrow 2012 Burgundy Tasting. Uh, Pierre de Benoit from uh, Domaine and Pied de Vilaine uh, in Bouzeron. What was the 2012 vintage like for you? I think uh, I, uh, I will speak about uh, the Côte Charonnaise uh, vintage in 2012. I think for the Domaine and Pied de Vilaine it's one of the best vintage we, we vinified since a long time. And uh, usually, I, I used to, to compare the 2012 with the 2005. And uh, in, uh, um, we, will, we will be very, uh, very uh, come on, uh, surprised by the quality of the fruit and in the three grey varietal. I am very lucky in Cochéonne because I can, uh, I can produce the Aligoté, the Chardonnay and the Pinot Noir in the level of Appellation Village. Uh, because Bouzeron is the only Appellation Village from the Grey Varietal Aligoté, and it's my favorite, of course, since a long time. And effectively, for me, with this vintage 2012, we, we were be able to uh, regroup, join the different energy, the mineral energy from the soil, uh, the vegetal energy from the plant, Aligoté, Chardonnay, and Pinot Noir, uh, the astral energy from the influence of the, of the sun, thanks to a very wonderful luminosity and the um, animal energy, yes. my energy, uh, an energy from the birds, insects, bats, uh, wild pigs and, uh, and uh, all these animals we, we, come on, we, uh, which cross the vineyard, yes. which live inside the vineyard, which died inside the vineyard and at the end they, they compose the bio, biodiversity and I think uh, the philosophy in the domain is not to, uh, not to manipulate a lot the grapes to make a good wine. It's only to observe, only to bring uh, a grapes very, very um, alive and, and try to, 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 to give to the wine the good and the, the, the natural way to, to express the, the quality or the nuances of the vintage. And 2012 was uh, perfect for that. We, we, we didn't change or adapt our philosophy with the vintage 2012, it was the exact quality of grapes to apply our philosophy. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the vintage uh, challenges that some people had, I know further north in Volnay and uh, Merceau they had very big problems with hail and with, uh, with, with other uh, influences through the growing season. Did you have the same challenges? No. No, no, it was, uh, um, how do you say, the, uh, a very famous musician, uh, Franz Liszt, um, told about music, nuances are everything. And I think in 2012, we, we, we will be able to, to, to propose you, thanks to the wine, these nuances. And in 2012, we didn't have some nuances in the weather but nuances on the fruit, totally yes. different. And, and we, are, we were very lucky not to have some, some hailstorm uh, uh, catastrophe or, or during the flowering, uh, very fresh period like 2013. Uh, may, no, in 2012, everything was perfect, I think, to make a good wine in Cochaones, of course. Unfortunately, in the Côte de Beaune, it was so delicate, yes. so complicated, but, uh, but I tasted some uh, 2012 mm -hmm. wine from Côte de Beaune. They are very good too, different, maybe more mineral, more, a little uh, more strict, but quite good at the end. Yes. So Pierre, um, in terms of recent vintages from uh, AMP de Vilaine, what would you recommend in terms of uh, people who are looking to drink now? I recommend if you want uh, to taste a wine on the fruit, the 2012, which is uh, very well balanced between the fruit, the minerality and the acidity. Uh, or maybe it could be interesting uh, to taste a more gastronomic vintage like the 2010 or 2011, which are more mineral than 2012 but uh, very, uh, uh, very elegant, especially the, the Rully 2010. And, uh, and if you like uh, some seafood, the 2011 Bouzeron is wonderful with some oyster, for example. Fantastic. Okay, thank you. Thank you.